my name's Shahara, and I'm a co-founder of Growing Smart, which is a Hong Kong-based social enterprise. And Growing Smart was set up because we wanted to bring food production back to Hong Kong. We're very interested in food production, but also to do it in a uh, environmentally sustainable way. So our farm, which we have on Ping Chao Island, is a permaculture-based farm. And what that means is not only do we want to uh, grow amazing, delicious, healthy, chemical-free food, but we also take care of the land at the same time. So we increase its fertility over time. Uh, so I was working in IT for a long time and I was no longer interested in this industry and I stumbled across permaculture and it was an amazing revelation because I realized that we can all do something positive. I think before that time, I always thought the problem belonged to other people. But after I found permaculture, I realized that I personally can make a difference um, in what happens to the world and the future and how I am acting in it. So um, that's how I started in permaculture. From now I want to develop the beginnings of what's called a CSA model, which is community supported agriculture. In other countries this is now, it's just huge. And what that means is um, the customers will buy the whole season's vegetables at the beginning of the year and then they will receive a vegetable box every week. What that is doing is moving away from the consumer mentality and the consumer is actually becoming part of the production and takes the highs and the lows with the farmer. So I am, what I want to do is bring something similar to that to Hong Kong and start to produce uh, yeah, food that people can receive every week, but they are also part of the process and they are involved in the journey that we as the farmer are also taking. So the permaculture community is now uh, quite widespread all around the world and it's fantastic. It's full of a lot of people who are disillusioned with the current ways of working and making money and community and permaculture is offering a way to make a living and create a whole new community based around uh, just more meaningful and more thoughtful ways of earning your income and living together and working together and sharing and it's a fantastic uh, community is worldwide, it's growing all the time and it's very supportive and very, very exciting. So some of our challenges, the biggest challenge initially was finding land. It's very difficult to find um, land in Hong Kong, agricultural land, but it is possible, it's there. Um, and then because Hong Kong is no longer an agricultural city it's very difficult to find the products that we need to use to set things up so they're coming from china they're coming from abroad um, so it would be great to revitalize the agricultural industry in hong kong so that we can all support each other locally and we don't need to import things um, from other countries so everybody should start growing their own vegetables it's a great way to um, start learning about regenerative agriculture but also just to have a lot of fun with doing something that is actually very good for you and what many people find is they become addicted to this and it leads to much to more and more things you start composting at home you start uh, keeping a worm farm you start growing flowers as well as food herbs um, and then what we have found is the connection to uh, taking care of the bigger issues becomes stronger. So my first advice to everybody is please grow some tomatoes on your balcony because that will start a journey that you will never ever regret. Um, the most rewarding aspect is, there, there are many, but perhaps it's actually getting really deeply back in touch with nature, spending time around animals that you would never think were important, which are insects, 
but in fact they are our most important friends and they're really funny and so just learning about this whole world that I had just completely ignored um, and becoming part of it again and by that I mean getting to know plants, getting to know soil, bacteria, fungi, insects, all of these things which which have become invisible to us and in fact support us entirely kind of joining or rejoining that aspect of the human psyche, the human self has been incredibly rewarding. The best advice I would give to anyone wanting to start up in any kind of farming or growing their own food, urban farming, um, normal field farming, is you have to be, you have to get some experience. So I would really recommend that you go and intern or volunteer on any farm, either in Hong Kong or uh, globally, and spend at least six months to a year doing that, just traveling, make your holidays, farming holidays. And uh, it's, it's a huge amount of fun. It's a great community out there, very supportive and willing to share. And uh, yeah, start like that because there's no substitute for hands-on experience.